G'day guys and girls and John Michalutis here from My Excel Online and I've got a brand new video here that goes over the new Excel formulas in Excel 2019. Now if you don't know which Excel version you have then you can click on the top and have a look at our video which explains how to find out what Excel version that you have. Now today quickly we're going to talk about these new Excel formulas that were introduced in Excel 2019 and there are six of them. We're going to go through the concat function, ifs, maxifs, minifs, switch and text join. Now if you have any questions about this and you need some help just put a comment there and we'll be happy to respond and help you out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel to receive more of these awesome video tutorials. And also wait until the end of this video for something special that's gonna help you get better at Excel formulas. Let's get into it. The concat function is a new function in Excel 2019 and it replaces the concatenate function which has been within Excel for a very long time. Now we have text here, the first column, second column and third column and we want to combine these together. Now let's use the concat function and we can easily go and select that cell press a comma and just keep on selecting as many cells as we like and close parentheses. And you can see it's combined the text. So what it does, it, it combines text together or anything that's in a cell, it could be um, numbers as well. Now, we can see there's no space there, um, which is annoying. The text join function, which I'll explain later, fixes this issue, but you can fix it within here. So it's picked up this text, it says there's no text in there, but what we can do is double click and put a space. So when we do that space, you can see that space has been moved there. Now, another good thing about the concat function is that you can select a whole array of cells going up or down, whichever way you like. So let's do that here. And let's select these three cells, close parentheses. You can see the number one, two, three, and just drag down. And you can also put in your email in a right format. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this, just depending on your imagination and the text that you have. So concat, a new function in Excel 2019, which replaces the concatenate function in previous versions. If you have multiple conditions to check, instead of using a nested if formula, you can now use the new formula called ifs. Now, this is a new formula in Excel 2019, and what it does is it checks multiple conditions and returns the value of the first true condition. So this is a much simpler way to create multiple conditions using the ifs formula. Now, in previous versions, you'd have to nest. So what that means is when you create a new formula, say you put if cell A1 is bigger than 10,000, then return this. Then the second argument, you'll open the bracket and type in the if formula once again. So it'll be another if formula. So you're nesting the if formula within another one. And then you create a second condition there. And if you had a third and fourth, you go all the way there. So that makes it very, very ugly when you're creating a formula that way and it can get confusing as well. But the ifs formula changes all that. It's much neater and much simpler way to create. So let's do this. We have here our income and our tax rate. So you have the tax brackets and we have our income in here, so which is 10,000. And we wanna know, based on our income, what tax rate are we going to have to pay? So in here, Let's put in our ifs formula. So first is the first logical test. So we're saying if this cell here is less than 8456, then return 30%. Now we can reference that, but let's just type it in for now so it can look much neater. So 8456, then what do we want? 13%. Once again, I can click in here, but for 
to show it in a much neater way, let's put in 13%. That's our first argument. The second one is, if our income is less than 15.874, then we have to pay 18%. So 1.8, there you go. And our final argument is, if our income is bigger than or equal to 15.874, then we have to pay a tax rate of 22%. And let's close the bracket. Now let's have a look at this. So say our income is less than 8456, say it's 8,000, we have to pay 13%. Say that it's 9,000, we have to pay 18%, perfect. Say if it's 15,880, we've got to pay 22%. So there you go, it's working fine. And once again, we can have a look here at our formula and it looks much neater. So you can have a look there at each of the three arguments and what they're gonna return. Very, very easy to understand. If you had to use the old if function and nest an if, you, you have to put in an if in here and then another if there and then another if there. So it just becomes very, very ugly. And this is very nice. So just another tip as well, if you wanna make it even easier, you can actually click on there and press Alt and Enter. So you can um, separate and that way it just looks much better. So you, you get to see at which tax brackets you need to pay. So press Enter, we can go back in here and there's another quick tip for you. So I hope you enjoy this fabulous new ifs formula which was introduced in Excel 2019. The max ifs function is a new function in Excel 2019 and it is similar to the sum ifs function that was introduced a few years ago. Now this is great if you want to get the maximum value based on a couple of different criteria and let's put this into action here. So we have salesperson here, John and Brian, and we have the quarters that they made the sales and also the sales amount. And we want to find out the maximum sales for John in quarter number one. So let's put in our function. The first argument is a max range. So this is the value that we want to show. So we're gonna show the maximum sales. So let's highlight that all the way there. The second argument is the criteria range. So the first criteria is we want to show salesperson John's value. So the criteria range is in here. Highlight it, comma, and the salesperson, the criteria is John. So highlight that, we're gonna reference that cell. Second criteria, we wanna know the quarter. So the quarter range is in here. That's the criteria range and the actual criteria is the quarter. Reference that cell there. Let's close the parentheses and we can have a look there that John in quarter one made sales of 46,143 which is here. If we put in the number two, quarter number two, you can see 24,919 where his highest sales there. The same thing we'll put in Brian here and his values get automatically updated. So this is great new function introduced in Excel 2019. You can see you can do a lot of different um, dashboards using this great function. And also there is a min ifs function as well, which you can also use. So the switch function is a new function in Excel 2019. And what it does is it matches multiple values and it returns the first value that has a match. So let's explain this by using an example. We have ratings here on the left and the description. So one is a bad, two is average, three is great. And in here, let's put in our rating. Let's put in a number one. So we want to say that if it's a number one, then bring back the description bad, number two, average, number three, great. So let's put this in, in our switch function. The expression is going to be the value that we are going to check. So let's reference that cell there. And first value, let's put in the value number one. So let's put one, comma, and the result. So if we choose one, what result do we want it to return? 
So it's going to be bad. So we can reference the cell here, or we can actually type it in if you like. So let's type it in just to make it look better. Okay, number two is going to be average. And number three is going to be great. And press enter. So we'll see there, number one is going to return a bad, number two, average, and three, great. How about if it's a four? This is NA. We can actually change that. We can change this formula here. Let's press F2. And any other, for any other result, then we can put in whatever value. So the last argument will be unknown. So what we're saying there, if it's not a one, if it's not a two, and it's not a three, then return the text unknown. Press enter, and there you go there. So we can put in there 200. It's still gonna be unknown. So one, number two, number three, we're gonna get a result, and anything else is gonna give us an unknown. Now this is great here if you're creating some kind of a dashboard. Um, we can even make it more interactive, just quickly. Let's go to data and put in a data validation in here and let's put in a list and the source is going to be our list over here and press ok so here's a drop down we have one two three you see it as we change that then this description changes so there you go a nice new formula called switch which i'm sure that you're gonna fall in love with the new excel 2219 formula called text join concatenates a list with a specific delimiter. So if you want to join two or more text cells and include in that a delimiter, for example, a space or any character, then this is the formula to use. Now, let's put in the concat function and I'll show you the limitation of it. So let's highlight all these three cells and double click so you can see there there's no space there so that is the limitation of the concat function now to overcome this we need to use the text join function so let's put in there text join and delimiter so this is the character to insert between each text item so what character do we want to insert we want to insert a space to do that we need to put in the double brackets space and then double brackets close and press the comma. So that means that between each text, there will be a space. Now you can put in any other thing in here. You can put in, if you want, um, this character, whatever you like, but we're gonna just leave it with a space. Ignore empty cells. Now, if we want to ignore empty cells, put in true. And finally, let's highlight the range of cells. There you go. So you see, there is a space between John and Michaludas. Double click here. The same thing there. Homer J. Simpson has a space and the numbers one, two, three has a space as well. So text join is a great way to concatenate text together and include a character between each of the texts. G'day guys and girls, John Michaludas here from myexcelonline.com and I'm just sending you just a quick update just to let you know that for this week only we are having a sale which means that you're going to get a most sold ebook it's called the 101 most popular excel formulas you get it for only 19 dollars. so that's 10 dollars off during this week only and you can have a look at this book here when you click in the description or the link that we're going to give you now it goes directly into this page and you can quickly have a look at what is included and how it is set out now what i'm going to do is just go inside the ebook just to show you the different formulas that we are going to include in this ebook okay so we're here in the table of contents just quickly we go through different formula tips just to get you started with excel formulas so you can understand the different ways you can use it and some awesome tips that's going to save you lots of time then we'll go into the different lookup functions and you can see them all there we've got the most popular lookup functions like vlookup index match then we'll go on to the logical functions which includes if and the if error or the or 
then over to the different math functions which i'm sure that you use every day we've got some if some if some product how to count statistical functions we go over the large the max the median the minimum and the small text functions they're all over there i'm not going to go through every one of them but you can quickly have a look there we also go through the date and time functions that you can see directly here awesome functions when you're working with dates then we'll go to various information functions there we have a couple of other small functions and then we'll go on to excel 2019 functions here we've got the new excel 2019 functions that were introduced last year you can have a look there and you can use them straight away the new office 365 functions as well and also we give you some advanced formulas. These are bonus formulas that we've included in there. So all you got to do is just click in the description. It will take you to the sales page and you can quickly have a look at the table of contents and everything that's included in there. And only for this week, it's $10 off. So click the button, purchase this awesome ebook and become better at Excel so you can stand out from the crowd and get the promotions and pay rises that you deserve.